Our first Bible lesson is extracted from the Revelation of St. John the Divine, chapter 2, verses 26 through 28. And he that overcometh, and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessel of a potter shall they be broken to Shiva, even as I receive of my father. And I will give him the morning star. Peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our second Bible lesson is taken from Revelation chapter 3, verse 12. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. Peace be unto Lord Jesus Christ. Our golden text comes from the Revelation of St. John the Divine, chapter 5, verse 11 to 14. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels run about the throne, and the beasts and the elders. And the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, what is the lamb that was slain to receive power, riches and wisdom, strength and honor, glory and blessing? And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth, and such as are in the sea and all that are in them, heard I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that seated upon the throne and unto the lamb forever and ever. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. Peace and love, Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, the theme of our revelation today is what has already been written and kept for our remembrance. As he has already said in St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 17, don't think that I came to break and repeal the law. Rather, I have come to establish it stronger than what it was. But heaven and earth will pass away, but not a jot of all the words of the prophets will pass away until all of them are made consummate. So, the compliment of the IPP, the honor of the dear Kafamaka, the excellent for the gospel of this day is an eye opener when you go cogitate on these words because what is going to be preached to you today is what had been laid down up initial from the beginning of time and that it has been provided that all those who continue to serve it will receive the crown this means that if you are one who continues to serve him it means you have overcome and if you don't want to serve him the result is that your name is not written in the book of life. So, I'm not sure I'm in Bolivia. 
This gospel therefore strengthens my faith, it strengthens your faith, it strengthens the faith of all the inhabitants of the world because God has never deceived, he has never forsaken any person and he will never, never deceive. So I would see yet in Utum Yiri, and it is quite young, and yet it was never near to his back. He saw Yanadidam, Granyaka, Granyak. This is an indication to us that our duty is to continue to praise Him. To sing praises to him, to glorify his name, to magnify him because he has overcome and his followers have overcome. So, Bukumani, my son, I did that. I did that. I did that. I did you therefore stand firm in what has been nominated throughout the Act of the Covenant the holy writ which we use. Everything that has been described there is left for each and every one to put into practice without looking left or right or considering whether he is God or an angel or Satan, but complying completely to what has been prescribed. There and there you have overcome. <laughs> This is not the place where people come in to investigate go into researches. This is not a place that people come in to sit down to listen only. This is not a place that people cry and weep and lament. But this is a place that you have to keep your eyes open on all the nominations of God in the Holy Writ. And if you stand firm and keep this to the air, there and then you have overcome. Kudimi, the unit is here. Kudimi, the brambra, make a good food, make a motor car for Nenele, me for a car for Nenele. Kudimi, this is the man. Kudimi, me now, me, Kereke, Kereke, men, Twaye. This underline is here. I'm going to have to say, I'm more than enough. I'm more than enough. I can't even know I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, don't come here to look for positions. Don't come here to post of your money and the number of cars you have and the number of houses you built. Don't come here to boast of anything. Don't come here to cause trouble and confusion. Don't come here to deceive people. Don't come here to indulge in any acts, but come here to comply to that which God has prescribed from the beginning, which is the promise for those who will comply themselves to that which has been written from the beginning of times. So, Idani, I think in a 
As it has already been written in the Bible, he will assemble all the inhabitants of the world and there will be a dividing line between them. Some will he keep on his right hand side and some he will keep on his left hand side. Those on the right hand side will be the sheep and will say to them, come ye pleasure of my father and inherit the positions which the father had kept for you from the beginning of time. Because I was hungry and you fed me, I was thirsty and you gave me drink, I was sick and you catered for me, I was a stranger and you received me, I was naked and you clothed me. This is exactly what happens in the kingdom of God. There is no need looking left or looking right or indulging yourself in anything. The position is that we, whoever overcomes, will be lifted up. And unless you indulge so much in the work of God, you comply yourself strictly with all the provisions given, then it is impossible for you to overcome. <laughs> Never go to the front of and we clothed you? When did we see you in prison and we heard you? When did we see you sick and we took you to the hospital? And the plain answer was, in as much as you did it to one of little ones, then you eventually did it to me. So for your brother, research means magic. You are in the world. And this one, you are a book from working and I'm going to say, or me and I said, yes, I am a book from working. So, brethren, you want me and you can. I want to carry that out. That's all. Whatever you put your hands to doing is not important. Picking up, shouting, singing, and doing all sorts of things are not so important. What matters most is for you to overcome. Because when you overcome, then the name is given to you. And if you don't overcome, you have to reconsider your condition. Man, don't move for. He didn't hear my word. He didn't get the president. He didn't get the head of state. He didn't get the royal highness. He didn't get the bishop. He didn't get the pope. He didn't get the pope. He took care of me. At all. Look at me. I have told you before. And I am repeating it right now that the venue in which we find ourselves is not a place for you to come and bow up and show your com 
from poverty, I was a traditional ruler, I was the president, I was the governor, I was the commissioner. Whatever name, whatever you were in the world, has no premium in this kingdom of God. The chairman, the treasurer, the oracle, the judge, look at him, look at that door. It does not also come in here. Your claiming to be the chairman, to be a treasurer, to be a preacher, or to be whatever name you want to take to yourself, these things are not important in this kingdom of God. So, and I am this is the greatest joy belonging to all the inhabitants of the world because the truth has come to be revealed to the all the inhabitants of the world. In the years, I'm a bear. In New York, I'm a bear. In the info, I'm a bear. In your words, I'm a bear. In your royal, I'm a bear. In my category, I'm a bear. In my category, I'm a bear. The time, the time for weeping and crying and mourning and shouting and quarreling and fighting and lamenting has passed. But this is the time of joy for every person. Because once you call upon his name, you receive that salvation. And therefore, every person should express that joy. You heard, you heard the lessons read to you. Compare these lessons to your request every day. Oh God, give me children. Please, Father, give me money, give me multiple cars and the rest of the things. Can you ever compare these mundane things with all that lies in wait for you as read in the text today? Again, I'm the president making sure any position I got for credit. You know, for any day, you can get enough. Any move, move can get. You see, you. There is the question you have to answer. Supposing you've given the money you're requesting for, or you met a president, or you are a traditional ruler in your place, but you do not overcome. What becomes of you? Because. The blessing is only given to those who overcome. But if you're given any position at all in the world, and yet you do not overcome, what do you think will become of yourself? You will see the truth in this text which says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all other things will be added unto you. Heavens and earth belong to him and the fullness thereof, the sun, the moon, the constellations, and everything belongs to him. If he has all these things, he has the capability of putting these things on you provided that you overcome it is only when you overcome that it is possible for you for him to give you that crown which consists of all these things 
which belong to him. Remember, as you go to the world, you can't afford to go to the world. You can't afford to go to the world. You can't Sometimes the question is put to you. Maybe you're from your detractors. Now that you've completely surrendered yourself, you're putting all your services in the vineyard of God, what will be your benefit and interest from the text read to you? Can you not see what your profit, what your interest will be if you only overcome the interest, the benefit, will be given to you. 1996. <laughs> All your requests, all your lamentations, all the feelings that you are lost, all the feelings that you perished, can you now see what has been read to you today? Don't you see the blessings and the benefits and the interest you have if you only overcome in the vineyard of God? So, and I correct my lesson again. You require quality, seek quality. I'm going to use it. Eh? Yeah, you say it out. Who are you coming? You know? Don't worry about me. It's okay. I'm going to go. 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 Maybe one, maybe you know, maybe you know, say, I walk a candle, put my candle. You know, after the first lesson shall have been read, the usual song will be rendered. If you will sing it, I will sing it. Mm -hmm. Because there's no other thing left for us to do than to express this joy. You've seen what is happening now. And the glory of God, the kingdom of God is left for all those who overcome. If you just overcome, then that glory is yours. Therefore, you should strive hard in order to overcome. When you come, then the star, then the crown, then every other thing is given to you. What? The first lesson will now be read. Listen attentively, open your eyes, open the walls of your heart, open your ears, and listen attentively and receive the words of life for your salvation. <laughs> Our first Bible lesson was extracted from the Revelation of St. John the Divine, chapter 2, verses 26 through 28. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to silver, even as I receive of my father. And I will give him the morning star. Peace in your name, Lord. Totally quiet. Quiet.
The first lesson read to you is going to be expatiated one by one. It says, Whoever overcomes and keeps my work to the end, I will give him power and authority over the nations. Not only giving him power and authority over the nations, the other day we heard about an iron rod, this man who overcomes. After he's been given the authority and the power over nations, he will be given a rod of iron to rule over them as a vessel which is created by a porter. They will be broken into pieces and as he has received from the hands of the Father the crown, and so to all those who have overcome, he will give them the morning star. Now, Now, I want to use an endless situation to illustrate and heavenly things. Once upon a time, there was a person who showed himself as somebody who devoted himself to the services of God. He was a tenant in somebody's house. It is the provision that he should pay his rent at the end of the month. As the month grew near, the landlord started demanding the rent of one naira, and he hadn't this money to pay. All he could get at that time was two covers. He couldn't pay the rent. And the notice said if he did not pay the rent at the end of the month, the last day of the month, he was going to be evicted the next day. So, and you want to know what I mean? I said, 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 Thank you. 
so apart from giving a verbal notice he contacted his solicitor his lawyer to give him a notice that unless he paid his rent he was going to pack out the next day apart from that he was going to be taken to a court what did he have he had no other thing to do than to take up five kobo and then first daughter to go to the market to buy bread and coming back he should slice the bread in the certain portions and give one to the mother take one give to give one to the to the other sister and they will for what will happen to them afterwards that's the magic of the james school on the back part In spite of this threat, this man remained resolute. He was very strong in his spirit. He stayed there. He considered what was he going to do. Was he going to ask his God to give him the one naira? It would be an insult to the Almighty God. Was he going to the landlord to plead with him to allow him to continue to stay until he had he had his rent to pay? He would not like to subjugate himself to such a situation. Since God owns heaven and earth and everything, then he was not going to do any other thing than to surrender himself to God to do whatever he will and allow his will to manifest in him. Why? These blessings have not yet come to your end. It's because of your lack of faith, your unbelief. You always, you always refer to certain situations as temptation. In this other end, we don't call them temptations, we call them examinations. Because 
if you want to proceed, if you want to be promoted to a higher rank, you have to pass an examination. The same system is used in the schools, in the colleges, in the universities, even those who go to war in the civil service, you can gain promotion through examinations. And so don't refer to these situations again as temptations, but refer to them as examinations. And I say, don't go better. Oh, walk, I can't do I can't do it. Oh, walk, I can't do it. I can't do it. The text says, he who overcomes, overcome what? It is overcoming this examination. He who overcomes and keeps my works to the end. That is the person who is given authority. Supposing you are placed in such a situation as this tenant who had no money to pay his rent and you go to plead with your landlord, landlord, I bet I can't afford the money now. Can you pardon and allow me to continue to look for the money? It will amount to insulting your God. Or you don't want to go to plead with your landlord. You say, let me go and look for another house somewhere. You go to another landlord. You are at the same time disgracing God. Or for you to sit back and begin to whip for lack of money and express dismay for what has happened is equal to your insulting God is an insolent to the Almighty God. Why not be raised on it for whatever situation you find yourself? Stay put there and allow the will of God to manifest in you. Pet is the most precious of the things in this world. Not doing things by themselves, but to stand firm in the profession of your faith always. It is so important, it is very significant. Don't 
จะไม่ได้แจ้งเพื่อนหมดนะครับทำเงินการการมาตัวการการมาตัวยี่เนี่ยเยอะแค่แม่งกูว่าบ้าเนี่ยกว้างอีกบ่ละ Journey to a king's palace. Gave it to the king, examined it, and said he should go back and report back to him the following morning at eight o'clock. Remember, that following morning will be first of the month, and the girl and the parents were going to be evicted from the place. What were they going to do? The girl went back. The next morning at eight o'clock, she was already in the king's palace. You will not be surprised at what God can do at any particular point in time. When the girl arrived, the king divided his whole kingdom into two parts: the part in which the lawyer, the solicitor, and the landlord were residing. That part of it was given to this girl. To rule over, while the king himself will rule over the other side of the kingdom, there was another provision that should the king die himself, then the rulership of the whole land will devolve on this girl, on this man, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. A tua programa, o João me segue para o sítio de Belém. Oh, não aqui, não é não pá. É problema. É que é a exata situação que nós vivemos neste caso. It says, whoever overcomes and keeps by war to the end, that is the person who will be compensated. That is the person who will be given power and authority over nations. That is the person who will be given the morning star. You don't have to doubt. Don't begin to predict. Stay where you are. You've not started to see things manifesting themselves in this kingdom yet. But if you only overcome, take note, if you overcome, then all the fullness of God The manifold blessings of God will be bestowed on you. In the city of Aceh, Christ said, "Aleke, Oro Bongleke, Meka, Mengito, Mengman, Mobi." Four. This is our time. Four. 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 Four
The promise of God. So, brethren, the promise of God will surely be fulfilled. It doesn't need any bribing. It doesn't need any presentation of any type to any person. But the promise will be fulfilled. The lesson of today can be likened to that situation which the Lord Jesus Christ told the people, whoever possesses his wife, husband, and children, and brothers, and his own country for his own sake and for the sake of the gospel in the new generation, which the nation, such a person will rule with him, and whatever he has lost will be given a hundredfold to him. And in addition to this, he will rule with him. The key word is the crown, that rulership. If you only overcome, that is the position you occupy. When you overcome, then you rule. And that is the promise of God. And you have to strive hard in order to overcome, in order also to rule. So, Mr. Now, don't go. After that, the second lesson will now be read. Are you all listening by Koto Minke, the other John Gorris, the Fancy River? Awake a candle. Then I'm a Yadia Dark, a temple of Asim. Then a Yidu Arcade of us. Then you were a Yang of Asim, Mikidan, Yang of your Basin, Abu Fai Yerusalem, and your third of us, and your father have an eddy, your Abu Fai and Eden, and then came over. Driver for Kishon! Our second Bible lesson was drawn from the Revelation, Revelation chapter 3, verse 12. Him that overcometh, will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. Peace in our blood, Jesus Christ. As he called it, God. Conscience is in our way, man. As he did. He did, young. Young, I think. Oh, no, you know, God. Oh, no, you know, young. Oh, no, you know, God. 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 It is said, two testimonies confirm a fact, and God will never deceive. He will never forsake. He will feed you. He will clothe you. He will do everything to you. But the provision is that you should strive to overcome. The whole of this city will install you as their own chief today and tomorrow they will remove you from the sea. Government of Reverend and President Uran is right ever. And the government elects you as the president over the whole country this week and next week you are removed as the president. The whole world proclaims that you are a money magnet, a millionaire, and after some time, they find a way and siphon this money completely out of your hand. But for our God, the Almighty God, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords, he will never deceive any person, 
He will never forsake any person. He will never leave any person in this nation. We will make a song and dance. We will make the world so much nice. Whatever form of examination comes your way, if you stand firm, you will see that it is that same idea of overcoming. It says, whoever overcomes will be made a pillar in my temple, the temple of my God, and he will never go out from that temple. He will continue to be there. And upon such a person will be written the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem. And that New Jerusalem comes down out of God, out of heaven from God. And upon that person overcome, the new name will be written on him. <laughs> So brethren, I said, brethren, that is the promise of God. He will definitely be fulfilled. And that is what you've been given. And that is what has been kept for the people of this world to ponder upon. What are we going to do at this situation? There's no need thinking about anything. There's no need burying your mind in something else. Your thoughts, your thinking, your mind cannot bring anything towards you. What you have to do is to surrender yourself, surrender yourself completely to his care and try to overcome. Because if you if the Lord of the Lord were to be here, they would have rendered that spiritual chorus, he will not deceive us. He picks us and clubs us and protects us. He does not deceive us. If they are here, can they render the sound?
The advice given to us this day is that we should stand firm wherever we find ourselves. If we find ourselves standing firm in the profession of our faith, we should remain there. If we find ourselves causing confusion and trouble, we should continue there. If we find ourselves leaning to the faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, that is where we should be. This is the kingdom of God, and it suffers violence. It needs struggling for it. And though you have to struggle for it in order to be able to overcome. Remember the parable of the of the ten virgins. Five of them with lamb and kerosene, five others with lamb without kerosene. Those who come in here every time continue to beg, give me money, give me clothes, I'm not given money, I'm not given children. Who is going to give you this? Such persons are likened to the five virgins who had lambs and had no kerosene. Afterwards, God has provided all the manifold blessings on you. You are still expecting him to give you these or that or other things. Who is giving you the things you are looking for? You are You look you are looking on to your husband or to your wife or your children or your brothers and sisters to give you gifts. This is not a place, this is not the time for you to sit at a kimbo and expect gifts from people. This is the time for you to struggle in accordance to what has been raised to you. Whoever overcomes, it is only when you overcome that you are reckoned with. But if you do not overcome, what happens to you? There is no desire for death. Walk, 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 walk. That is the promise of God. And that is the promise of God. It is your duty to carry, to carry this very gospel, this promise of God, and broadcast to all the inhabitants of the world. You have to overcome. Whatever position you find yourself, try and try and overcome. That you may be given that crown of glory. Sometimes you complain, I've been in trouble for 20 years, for 30 years, for 100 years, and I ask, 
upon the number of years you've remained, have you overcome? If you do not overcome, no crown is given to you. We've heard of a certain man who begot so many children. Some of them were lawyers, others were engineers, others were medical doctors, others were architects, and all, many others were in many fields of endeavor. The last child, when the last child was yet in the mother's womb, the father died. And as soon as he was delivered of the mother, the mother also died. And every person ran away and left him there stranded. They branded him a devil. He was the person who killed the father and killed the mother. And so he was abandoned there. No person went near that person.
about you. He has never failed you. He has never forsaken you. And that has been the, pro the promise of God unto all his children. So, don't I look. I don't want to 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 look. I don't want
God bless you. Brethren, can you see how God we have? From that time on, from the exploitation of the gold mine, this girl became a queen. Every person in the kingdom bowed down to her. Every person made obeisance to her. And she was the monarch of all the surveys in the land. Can you see how God can do these things to you? That he has never failed you. That he has never forsaken you. The golden text will now be read. From the Revelation of St. John the Divine, chapter 5, verse 11 to 14. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels run about the throne, and the beasts, and the elders, and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, riches, and wisdom, strength, and honor, glory, and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven, and on the earth, and under the earth, such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, heard I say, Blessing and honor and glory, far be unto him that sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb forever and ever. And the four be said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down, and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. Please not pray to Jesus Christ. Thank you. 